Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and I uh, got a few questions that I will answer about Windows 11 and um, the uh, state of Windows 11, uh, what to expect uh, in updates for Windows 11 in uh, 2023. Uh, so it's a few questions that I've gathered through the uh, comments and uh, the first one and one from uh, email. So the first one is about the non-appearance of uh, 22H2. So of course, if you're on Windows 11, you are either on 21H2, or which is the first version of Windows 11, or 22H2, because you have been moved on, you could see it in your Windows updates. So uh, yeah, I recommend that you wait for it to appear in updates, but uh, don't go crazy. I mean, Windows 11, has 24 months cycles so unlike Windows 10 which has 18 months meaning that you know uh, for example 22 um, 21 h2 is good until 20 half or of middle of uh, 2023 um, the 21 h2 of Windows 11 is good until the end of 2023 so that is fine for a while and there's no rush the uh, fact that it doesn't appear on some pcs first of all there's still a lot of little blockers here and there that microsoft has put in place to prevent that from appearing in the windows updates so basically uh, if you don't see it don't worry i would not worry about it at all uh, it's still early in the development of 22H2, and even though Microsoft is quickly pushing it as general availability, there's still blockers and there's still things that might prevent you from moving ahead. It could even be some software you have installed. Well, think about it, and you'll you know worry about it if you get real close to the end date for end of support and you still don't see it. So don't rush, and it doesn't matter. It's all right like this, and if you don't see it in Windows Update, it's better just to s avoid, you know, pushing it or forcing it. Then the other question that I have is a question about uh, what if, has there been some updates since 22H2? And yes, we've had Moment One. Uh, Moment One, you can see if you have it. Anyways, everybody has it in 22H2. If you are, first of all. As of today, January the 3rd at 22.621.963. That's the latest build we have. And if you're there, you've got Moment 1. It was it's one of the cumulative updates. Uh, moment, one, moment 1 is uh, easy to see if you just look at your File Explorer. It should actually have tabs. So if File Explorer has tabs, you've got features of Moment 1. There's a few other things, but you know, in general, it's not that um, amazing. You might have, some don't, but some do. Right-click on anywhere in the taskbar, the task manager option. The other thing about that is that, of course, we've had the uh, security updates and the bug fixing updates come through. Now, um, if you're on 963, the 22.621.963, like I was showing in Winver, you're at the latest of the updates right now. Uh, like I said, for January the 3rd for the uh, 22H2 of Windows 11. Uh, the question that arose from another viewer is about moments. Uh, how many moments and will that replace the naming system for a yearly update? Uh, like we had 21H2, 22H2. Uh, will there be a 23H2? So the moments in 23 and 2023 are supposed to be moment 2, 3, and 4. There's supposed to be three of them. Um, the first one is supposed to be somewhere in March-ish, maybe February, March, somewhere in there, with other features and so on. There will be a 23H2, and the 23H2 will probably include all the features of the moments, plus, um, you know, kind of gathering the image that they'll have on the uh, Windows download page for the, you know, media creation tool and all of that. All of that will be updated with, you know, all the moments gathered into something called 23H2. It's pretty much what is going to happen. So that big update 
is not going to be an update that will add stuff if you already had all the moments. It will probably be an update that will gather all of the moments and maybe the last like moment uh, four might actually be the one that you update to 23 each two at the same time to give still 20, uh, 24 months of support for Windows 11. So that's what we have for that. And um, the last question that I'll answer quickly is, do you think Windows 12 is going to be this year? No, don't expect Windows 12 this year. We're going to be in Windows 11 this year with Windows 10 in the background. And that's going to be the year 2023. 2024 is going to be interesting for a possible Windows 12. But we'll see through 2023 the hints of the future of Windows. Uh, and that's going to be interesting to see also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.